Hello, I'm JW. Now in a previous episode we saw this thing, which is uh, designed to go into a shaver socket, and that's one of those jobs you put in the bathroom with the isolating transformer. A fairly UK only item because most other countries allow normal outlets in the bathroom, but uh, you know, we saw that and what it was connected to, which is bizarrely that thing. So uh, I did cover that briefly in the one, but uh, have a look at that and some other things which go with this which are quite useful to have when testing either existing installations or new ones. Now, if you're going to do any kind of electrical installation in somebody's house, or for that matter anywhere else, it is uh, part of the testing that you make sure that the things actually work, so functional testing. So in the case of a shaver socket, uh, here's that one we saw in the previous episode, it's generally a good idea to actually plug something into it, which would be this in this case, and actually confirm that the voltage comes out of it as you would expect, because of course these things could be busted from new, and on an existing installation it could have overheated and failed and nobody noticed. And certainly with a true voltage thing, so you want to confirm on both of those to make sure that it does actually put out something approximately near those voltages. Now of course you could just buy a plug like this, and then on the other end just fit on two of the plugs like these, which will go into your multifunction tester, whether it's a Mega or Fluke or Metrel or whoever else you happen to have. And in theory you could do that just for this one, but uh, the reason it's got this plug on is so that this is effectively an adapter or half of the lead, and then you can actually change it to various other ones. So there's two parts to this. This is the shaver bit. It's actually a lead off of a shaver. You can obtain those as like a spare part from various places, just a few pounds for that part of it. And for the other end into this thing, which as you can see is a inline socket, this is actually a decent quality one, it's made by Schurter, or however that's uh, pronounced. Worth getting a reasonably decent one. And then the other part that goes with this is this bit, which is the one with the pins in it. Same make there, so those can plug together. And then inside of this one we have the three leads coming out. And those three would go into your multifunction tester. And then you can obviously check things like the voltage, loop impedance test, and whatever else you want to do there. Obviously for shaver socket it's going to be mainly just the voltage, but other things can be attached to this as we've seen. Now these are silicone test leads, 16 amp rated, 1000 volts, and these are double insulated, so you've got the uh, coloured coating on the outside, and then it's a different colour underneath, so that if this gets scratched, then you can see that it's actually damaged, it's either white or black underneath. I'm not going to scratch it to find out, because obviously then it will be uh, destroyed, and those just go into this little plug. So the whole idea is then that this goes in your multifunction tester, and then it gives you this, into which you can plug various things for various different outlets. So what's about that's fairly common? Well, first of all, we've got the uh, shaver outlet there, so let's just plug it together. It goes in your shaver socket. Just check the voltage as appropriate. Make sure it's actually working. Other things you might come across are things like this. Now, this is a round pin plug, and these used to be used in the UK for pretty much everything. But nowadays they're normally just used for things like lighting, particularly where you have lights inside a hotel room or something similar, and the lamps plug in with these, and then you can switch them on and off from the switch on the wall, or one of those awful key-operated card things where you uh, stuff a key or something in a slot by the wall and turn it on. So uh, again, same idea, it's just wide on there with a piece of a uh, decent length of flex there. That goes in your outlet, and then this just plugs in here, and that goes in your auto-function tester for your tests and things as you would normally do. And that's a 5 amp one, there is also a 2 amp one which I happen to have here. And of course the other one available is the 15 amp one. Again that's not as common but certainly there are some applications where you might come across that. Same idea, just plugs in there, plugs to that one and then you can obviously uh, test as required with that. Now all of these, uh, I just made these up from various uh, bits and pieces. You. Uh, I don't think you can actually buy these, but uh, fairly straightforward, just need to buy these leads. These are actually moulded on. At this end, just come with the bare flex ends, put your thing on the end of it, and then you just need a plug like that and some uh, frequently coloured leads with the shrouded plugs and things on the end. So this one is just a normal socket outlet rather than the plug, and the reason for that is then once you've plugged it in here, you can then put, say, an appliance in there, and then you can sort of just do an appliance test on that to check that the earth is a continuous and sort of high voltage insulation test between the uh, two pins here and this one. So again, just saves having to put the clips on the pin to the plug and sort of faff about with that. 
And then the other stuff we've got are these, which are the 16 amp round connectors. These are blue ones for 230. And again, precisely the same arrangement, just uh, plug it in there. That goes in the outlet on the wall. And that goes on the end where your testing device is. So all kinds of different ones there. And then the point of these, I mean, you could in theory get a load of these and then just put a load of these directly into it. But the trouble with that is these are relatively expensive if you get the decent quality ones. Stuff like this is much cheaper, so it's just sort of an adapter end, so a bit of a lower cost way of doing it. But you could, in theory, just get a load of these individually coloured leads and wire them all to those, but you'd have to put some sort of banding around here to form them into a single cable and all that, so not over practical. We do also have the yellow one, which is a 110 volt uh, building site type of thing with a uh, 55 volts to earth arrangement, so two of those, same plug end of course. And then there's also the 32 amp versions, which again are somewhat larger, but again the same principle there and the same exact piece on the end. And there's several other things you could use. I mainly only do domestic work, so we don't generally uh, get involved with those, but there are things like the uh, click roses where the say lighting equipment just goes onto a round rose shaped piece, which then just plugs into a fitting in the ceiling, commonly used above suspended ceilings in shops and the like. So Again, just get one of the plugs on here, stick it on there. That's obviously not an easy way to test things or whatever. And pretty much any other kind of uh, custom plug or fixture. This thing then is just the adapter to your test equipment. And then the other thing just has that and whatever plug or thing on the end of it is that you actually need. So fairly handy things to make up there. And I say just make these up as and when needed. So this is a fairly uh, reasonable selection of stuff there. but. Uh, or you can just make them up for whatever purpose you happen to need. So that's it for this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.